Hey, what's up, GG? Quibbles back today to play Spell Theon, the Baker, and Underwear. Here are the runes, masteries, skill distribution, and items that you need to stomp your enemies with a Spartan jump. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Uncle Kui. Why are you using physical damage runes and masteries when you plan on playing Pentian as an AP master? It doesn't make any sense. The answer is simple. If you don't have them, you won't be able to harass your opponent in the laning phase since your D-Shot will only deal peanut damage. But if you have them, pissing off your opponent with that skill will be easier than playing Lego Batman. If you want your enemy to hate you even more, use your Spartan Kick to get close to him. Throw a P-Shot in his ass while buttfucking him like a crazy glue and finish your combo with another P-Shot. Thanks to that beautiful combo, your opponent will always shit on himself whenever you savagely jump on him, no problem. Early hybrid Pantheon for the win! When your breaker shield is up, you can just walk up to a minion to kill it without suffering any injury. If you combine all these factors, it is no wonder that not a single fucker bitch will try to get close to you when you're zoning them. When you're ready to go on a killing spree, you can do so as soon as you reach Lobo 2 by using your B-Shot skill, poke him a few times and finish him off with a Spartan kick in like B-Shot combo. Your AD carry is getting killed because she doesn't know how to position herself? Simply use a Spartan kick auto attack joystick combo on that human barbecue for the win. If your opponent has a blue buff, you must butt fuck him at all costs with a D-Shot Spartan kick combo. Attack him a few times and steal his buff with a Gatling spear D-Shot combo. Make a Harris lane and coming! If a chibi bitch tries to harass you near your tower, jump on that kiddo to make her tank some turret shots and throw a spear on her lolly face for the kill. You spotted some easy kills on the horizon? Use your breaker jump to close the distance between you and a flash. Perform a Spartan jump joystick ignite combo to reduce his health a bit and finish him off with another D shot in that sticky ass. After farming lots of minions and champions, you must help the other lanes by initiating a fight with your breaker jump and by killing the easiest target in the other team. And you must always lead the fight with that skill even if you're just beside the enemy to send reach her from behind to make her piss on herself like a pussy. When the enemy mid laner leaves her lane with a pedal mount, it means that they're going to take their blue buff so follow them and kill that baby girl to steal the candy that she just got. Then, to avoid getting killed by her monster, use your breaker jump to get away while taking down some minions to make even more money. Gate game, you'll be able to stomp any squishy baby girl with a simple baker jump spartan to go to attack D shot combo and no one, that's right, no one will be able to escape from Baker Man. Great success! If you play Spelteon, your D shot and Gatling spear skills will be mostly used to activate the infamous Lich Brain to boost your magic damage in the late game phase. That's right, Spelteon sports lies and his spartan kick skill that can send anyone flying into a deep well like a boss. And if you combine it with an auto attack joystick combo, securing every kill for yourself will be a piece of cake. However, Bakerman's true marvel lies and his outstanding Baker jump skill that will bake anyone below you to perfection and it's extremely useful to stomp the most hated champion in the game. Also, since you can deal decent damage on the jungle monsters to steal a buff quickly, your Baker jump is here to save the day so you can c c c counter jungle and c c c counter baron without being stopped by these fuckabashes. In teamfights, you shouldn't hesitate to jump right in the middle of the fray to destroy that little girl and use Zonia before you get butt fucked by the other team. In other words, you can simply Leroy Jenkins without thinking twice about the shitty situation you're going to get into because you can just become a golden pantheon before anything happens to you. If your enemies think they're safe just because they're under the protection of their turrets, they are greatly mistaken because Pantheon can just pick a jump near them, no problem. If you follow everything demonstrated in this video, you will always be the Winnie the Pooh of your games whenever you shout, I'm a BAKER! That's it for today, people. Don't forget to check out my channel for more boring League of Legends videos. Feel free to leave a comment in any language you want, but I'll only answer those in English and in French because I'm a racist fuck bitch. Ciao soon!